similar to the task three uh, item from week seven, I have made a different version in order to make it a little bit clearer and to show why we really should be using uh, the class uh, objects, things that we were taught at the beginning of the semester, and to show you how they can really simplify your life uh, by breaking things down into smaller parts that are a little bit clearer. Now, in this particular one, I've called Task 3's version of things movies in this particular video. Um, we have our normal form thing, which we call, which I called movies here. Um, I renamed it to movies. You could expect to see it called form and it wouldn't be that big of a surprise. The next thing that you see here, however, is that I have a class referred to as more file work. It's not an imaginative name. It's just a name for a particular class, which if you look over on the right hand side is right here and it pops up when I click on it, but you know, have to worry about it at the moment just yet. But I have broken some things down here that we are going to do within there. And one of those things is to load the years into the uh, years portion of the list box and also to display the uh, titles that are uh, that you want matched from a particular year. Now I'll come back to that in a minute. In the movies section we uh, create this because this is a class and I need to allocate it so I do that uh, in the space between movies and form load which in this case is movies load and I do that so that it is global to this class. Okay, so I initialize that and I have, uh, again, an unimaginative name F just so that I can pass things back and forth to that particular uh, class. So we are instantiating more form uh, file work into F. Uh, in more form work, you see near the top that it has um, a thing for file name. Now, I want you to notice here, this is actually a different class, but it is inherited into more, more file work. Okay, so we get file work out of more file work. And again, I'll come back to that in a minute. In the first video, you probably noticed that I pointed out that I was doing the majority of the work in file work. Okay, so I'm inheriting some of that, but I'm going to change some of it. So I created a, uh, uh, a class called more file work. Okay, so I, I instantiate it and then in form load, I pass the file name, f dot file name, because file name is in file work, and then I call the method uh, load years. Now load years is in more file work, but it's also in file work. You will probably remember doing load years to get the years in uh, the original uh, task three project. But I made a new one, and because there is no virtual uh, version of this uh, no abstract or vir virtual version of load years. I just chose to hide that one and you do that by something simple and that is you simply add a new keyword here and it creates a different version hiding the other one. It's not that different. The only difference is that I have an item here that is that says else and when I am adding the year here, you'll notice that instead of saying uh, Y selected or something like that, I actually think it probably says line. Let's take a look. Yep, it just says line. 
okay? I am actually collecting the particular year and I'm stripping off the first four digits since I know here that it is line and I add that particular variable which is Y current which is the current year into the years um, list box well actually into the current lists okay so in file work you saw that I created lists that I used to pass things back and forth to the visual portion. So there's years. Okay, so then I have an else, and the else creates a list, and this particular list is going to replace the file and make it easier to work with. So with this, I am putting into the list the current year that we're working with and the current title that we're working with. This creates a sort of row column uh, workable thing. We have to say new each time in order to add this to the list here. And you'll see this, this means movie row list and it is created of a type movie row. Now movie row is another class which only has two things in it, year and title. And it creates these in order to simply have a class which lays out a list in a fashion which is much easier to work with. Okay, so this creates this alternate list which we will use uh, later on to make it easier to search and to display. Okay, so it goes through here and again, it does basically the same thing for the loading portion that we did previously, it just didn't have this else portion. Okay, otherwise it is identical. So if we go back to movies, or form, if you will, it comes in here, loads the years, pulls this out of the objects years list, and says, add these to the year selection box. No surprise here, it works basically the same way as it did in uh, when we were doing it with file work. Again, very simple. Loads the years, and then back in the program it works just the same basically. So then we want to display the uh, output. When we have the uh, item here we have uh, your selection box, selection index changed. The reason I did that is because Visual Studio has a weird uh, problem with losing the information that you that you did out of the selection box and then it comes up null and then you've got all kinds of stupid problems so I went in here I collected this assigned it to the global variable uh, you're selected in uh, the file work uh, class and, and then it's visible and uh, available to anything the search button first clears out the um, the titles list and the movie title uh, list box just to keep it from gathering up titles and then we go here and we say we check year selected to make sure it isn't null for some reason like say for instance you just didn't select a year and sends you a message that says you have to select a year and then if that has a selected year then it comes here and it says get the selected titles and then display them okay so that's all that movies has to do it does two things in form load uh, it gets the years and displays them in 
the year selection box. It collects the year selected, so it can be checked here to make sure that uh, you have, in, in fact, pressed a, a year, cl clicked a year, sorry, and then uh, ultimately displays them. And all of the display portion of this is handled in the form portion. Okay, so I wanted to show you that we need to get used to separating one from the other. Okay, so then uh, over here in more file work, uh, everything that's needed to do, pretty much anything that you needed to have, uh, here's load years, which uh, places the years into the years list, which is then ultimately uh, placed into the years list box. And then here, the only thing different is we've added this, which creates a m easier to read list rather than to deal with the file with its irregular fashion. This makes it very regular and makes it easy to look at almost like a database only this is built in memory now over here this is where we collect the titles for display and you'll see that this is very very simple we go through each row in the each movie row in the list and it says if the year on that particular one is equal to the selected item that you did from the selection box in the list box for the year so basically, it's just connect, you know, comparing years. Is it the year I'm looking for? Yes, display the year, or no, don't display the year, um, and, and just go through the entire file like that. Now, yes, we are going through the entire file, but we did the, in the other one. It was just so convoluted to have to do three loops to do it. Here, we simply say, does the year equal the selected year? Yep, print the title, keep doing this, keep adding this title to the titles list, which then gets passed back to movies and is put into the movie titles items add for display. Okay, much simpler. Yes, we have more classes to deal with and things like that, but I think that you'll find that this is really much simpler. Now, all of these things up here in file work um, are used in more file work. And this one thing down here is also used in file work. Everything between these banners, uh, commented banners here, uh, are not used, but they are still part of the class and can be still used in the original task three assignment that I showed you. Uh, let's see. Okay, the only thing I did here was I did change load years because I added this portion here and I chopped off the year. Oh, and one other thing here, because I chopped off the year, I want you to know that I took that 2017 and unknown or whatever it was and changed it to just 2017. Um, you know, if it was a real life cir circumstance, you might want to have these sorted out better. But having a a year thing that was not just a year, like it should have been, was, in my humble opinion, not a brilliant idea. Okay, so hopefully this gives you an interesting viewpoint on this. I would like to have this. I think I'll try to put this in the um, this uh, project into the um, into the portal so that you can work, play around with it. Okay. Oops. Wrong key. <laughs>